my mom really texted me and said, you gotta meet these great people, they're awesome. They have a studio in South Dakota and they have a retreat for a week or five days and you should look into it. I absolutely adore um, Scott and his lovely wife Sharon. Just seeing them again, it's just an awesome experience. And just learning, um, just techniques and um, refreshing a lot of the technique that I forgot. I continue to be just uh, uh, humbled by the fact that Scott continues to do this. Um, and every year I think that I continue to learn so much more and then I go home and realize that I don't even know near as much as I thought I did, even from the class. And then as I try different things, I look forward to coming back and I've got a whole list of questions that I, that I, I brought back a bunch of questions last year and I have a whole slate of them for this year. I just, I love this family. They're wonderful people and they're so generous of spirit and Scott is so generous with his ideas and then the whole family just embraces you. Welcome into my personal studio where uh, Todd, Alexa and I and uh, sometimes Olivia we like in the dogs, but we paint up there. And so we've cleared it all out and set it up as a classroom. So let's bring you guys upstairs, get you seated. So we're gonna start on the painting. When I do a photorealistic painting, I always start with the background and I move forward. Do not to brush things down because you will bend the end of the brush. Day one is always the, uh, the most exciting because when everybody walks through the door, they see the art for the first time. People that have been here before, they're wondering what we picked. And being Harley's artist for so many years, to have a Harley piece is kind of fun for me to show them my little tricks and things. But I think it, it might be a little overwhelming for a few people because it's, it's a lot of work. A lot of just chrome and lettering and all kinds of reflective surfaces. So it's, uh, it's going to be a challenge, I think, for everybody. We're totally committed to this uh, retreat and we want to answer any question and make this an amazing experience and that way you want to come back and it's obviously working. I love seeing all the familiar faces of the people who came back. It's also nice seeing new people, but we're already learning how they're blending the sky out and mixing colors differently and I can't wait to see how they interpret a photorealistic motorcycle. It's going to be pretty gnarly. It's day two, and uh, we had some sleepy heads come in this morning. Um, and we actually, Alexa asked, you know, do you want to do this every day? You think you could do this every day? And a couple of people said, no, <laughs> it's difficult. It's a difficult painting this year. It's, uh, it's an intense Harley Davidson piece. It's moving slowly, but we're showing all different kinds of techniques. Uh, how, to, how to paint metal pieces that are round, how to paint braided lines and things like that. And a couple of the students like George and, and Michael have come a long way since last year. I've noticed that their strokes are more confident, they have uh, steadier lines and things like that, which just comes with practice and keep doing it. A 
Again, I am just so surprised with how quickly people pick up what we teach them. It's like they're actually listening and they apply it. And I swear half of them are so much better than they were last year, which is also awesome seeing the bee backs that are still eager and not overwhelmed by painting a motorcycle. Some people stuck with the colors that are in the photo and then others changed them up just to kind of play around and see what they could come up with and it's interesting because even, even the people that are doing the same colors that are in the photo, their colors are still different because they may have a different red tone, they may have a different green tone, um, a lot of variety and it's, it's cool to see just because they're all painting the same thing, but they don't all look the same. Put a piece of tape there okay. to protect your tank so that you can paint right up to it and you can peel it off and it'll clean it all up. It is day three. When we got here this morning, we started working on the engine, which is like tucked under the tank. So it's shadowed pretty decently. It's really dark under there. So we just got everyone to start blocking in black. Today's going great. You know, it's. I think people are a little further along than they had expected to be. I mean, they're going batty in there. They're laughing, they're looking at the snow outside. I don't know, I think they're inhaling too many paint fumes or something. But they're having fun, they're challenged, and I think maybe I say, oh, this is real easy. You guys will do this easily. I, maybe I say that a little too much because it's not easy for somebody that's not trained or had the experience that we do, so. You know, some people probably wish we gave them an easier painting, but if you challenge an artist or anybody in any field to excel, they will. You know, most people are gonna rise to the occasion. They're gonna excel because we did challenge them. This is day four, last day of the thing. We've got a couple more hours, we're all finished, and uh, I think everybody's gonna go home with the knowledge to complete that painting. I encourage everybody to finish it. And then today, because we're there's so much left on a lot of the paintings, I said, do the areas that you think you might have a problem with. Let us help you through that and answer your questions today. And then when you get home, it'll be an easy transition to finish it, because everything else you already know how to do. They're working on a very difficult piece. They're doing really fine detail, they're doing lettering, they're doing chrome pieces, they're doing pieces with little fluting and cutouts in it, and they're, nobody's complaining, you know, they're all, they're all for the challenge, and they're, they're doing a great job, I'm very proud of all of them. This is a, a building thing, they need to go home, they need to practice, they need to call us on the phone and say, hey, you know, I'm having a problem with this, can you help me walk through it, what am I doing wrong? We're here to help them, not just today, not just why they're here, also throughout. And if they come back every year, they're gonna come back better artists every time they're here, because they have a full year to practice. Now, I know if I was taking this, I would have had fun, because I, I had a blast you know, helping you guys. I, I wanna thank every, each and every one of you who are part of this, and the people that have come back multiple times. <laughs> I get all teary -eyed. I hope you guys are not discouraged. I think you all did a great job. You learned a lot of techniques. Your pieces came around. I know we gave you a hard piece to do this year. That is not easy. To Libya, to all of you. Okay.